the cool. Greetings everyone, I have designed a revolver speed loader here. Uh, currently on market there are two major archetypes of speed loaders. One is the twist type and another one um, invented by, or should I say introduced by speed bees, is the push button type where you push a button and the cartridges will release. Well, <coughs> in here, for this twist type, the problem is it's rather difficult for you to operate it under with one hand, so you may have to put your thumb um, through the frame and on the cylinder to keep it from spinning, or maybe you do this and twist. In addition, it's kind of easy to be confused about which way, which direction to turn to release. The, uh, cartridges. Uh, let's shoot some first and then I will introduce you to my invention. Well, remind me to readjust my irons. So as we can see, this is my design and you can drop the cartridges into the cylinder as any other speed loaders and then squeeze these two tabs together it will release the cartridges and you will never be confused about the spinning directions ever again in addition um, it's very easy to operate with one hand even when you are wearing gloves And let's do it again. One hand, release. One hand, squeeze and release. All right, thank you. You can download my design on Odyssey. The link will be uh, in the description. And also you can buy it on my official website if you don't want to deal with 3D printing itself. Now, the assembling part. After you have downloaded uh, the files from my LBRI, from my Outsy, um, and printed these two pieces, you can now um, assemble, assemble them. By the way, the preferred recommended printing orientation is this. This flat side um, on the building printing plate and this one on the printing plate and print them up. So, the hardware you need is one M3 by 20 button head screw and another one is M3 nut. Then you are going to insert this body into the retainer. Maybe this is a retainer, I forgot. And place this tab in between these two protrusions. Oh, I forgot. You need to install this M3 nut into the retainer first. Maybe use a punch to help you. Okay. Then insert the retainer into the body. After that, Grab your screwdriver or Allen wrench. Screw this. Screw 
screw the body and retainers together. I'm not sure how much uh, torque you need exactly. It probably will be too weak to even register on my torque wrench. Uh, just do it by feel. Uh, I think that tightness, tightness is adequate. And then um, squeeze a drip of cyanotype, cyano glue or epoxy glue inside this screw hole, which I forgot to bring outside. So it doesn't matter. You will know what to do anyways. Screw them together. Don't get it too tight. And I highly recommend glue. If you don't glue them together, uh, <coughs> the two pieces may come loose during use. That's too tight. Loosen it a little bit. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then I am going to test function. Um, depending on the tolerance of your printer and the wear and tear on your cartridge rim, it may be kind of tight on some of the holes on some of the cartridges. So test the function and make sure it works and drops free. See? When you squeeze the suit tabs, it drops free. And it depends on your filament type. You may need support when you are printing these retainer. My Chinese generic PLA needs uh, support, but this Filmatrix made in Virginia, USA doesn't need, uh, Filmatrix PLA doesn't need, PLA plus, I'm sorry, doesn't need support. Uh, so this is something you have to figure out yourself. Try it with, with and without support and see if it works. See, squeeze two tabs together and all the cartridges drops free.